Hi Cardinals, welcome to art. We're gonna do some printmaking today. Uh, the lesson was on pop art, and one of the artists that we were talking about was Andy Warhol. So pop art is another way of saying popular culture. Campbell soup is popular culture. Coca-Cola is popular culture. These candy wrappers that we recognize, popular culture. When Andy Warhol first started out as an artist, he was what they call a commercial illustrator. He did a lot of art for magazines and newspapers, things like that. He liked to do um, logos to help businesses advertise their products. And he ate Campbell's Soup almost every day, so he loved the Campbell's Soup can. And he did a lot of his artwork with it because that was popular during the 1950s and 60s when he grew up. So. It was very relatable to him. So he liked to do art that was a little bit more current than the, the stuff that you had been seeing. And he sort of made a name for himself with printmaking. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little printmaking lesson. You have to do this one at home because you probably won't have the materials at school to do it. So I'm at home in my kitchen and I'm gonna make some printmaking with you. So you gotta have a styrofoam plate and then you gotta cut out the circle so that it's flat. I just took a little picture of a mermaid or a turtle and um, that's what I'm gonna start with. So I got a coloring book and I cut out my turtle and I taped my turtle to the styrofoam plate. Can you see that? Then I took um, my ink pen after it was taped on and I went over the lines with my ink pen. And you have to dig sort of deeply into the styrofoam. You'll have to feel the pen going down into the styrofoam. If you can see how it's sort of sunk down in my styrofoam. So you have to go over the lines and you leave it taped to the styrofoam and you go over every single line over and over and over and you've got to kind of rub it back and forth and back and forth until you feel it sinking down into the styrofoam. So the more simple your little design is, the easier this will be. This one's kind of complicated and it took me a while, but when you do a print, you can use this as many times as you want and make multiple, multiple prints. That's why printmaking was so popular because instead of selling one piece of art for a bazillion dollars, you can make hundreds of prints with one original and you could sell them for less money, but more of them. So you could also make money that way and it was a little bit easier. So you gotta spend a lot of time on your original and then you can make as many prints as you want, okay? So you take your pen and you go over your line real well, over it, over it, over it, over it, really well. Then you take the, this off and undo the tape and you go over it one more time. So you can see with my mermaid and my turtle, you go back in the line. So you take your ink pen now after you've taken the paper off and you just make sure they're nice and deep and that the, the pen kind of sinks down into the styrofoam and then you'll be able to make a print, okay? So I took some paper and I folded the paper in half like this and then I folded it in half again and then I cut along the lines so that I could have some little smaller pieces to print with, okay? So I'm gonna start with um, my turtle and I'm gonna just put some highlighter ink on top. So you can use any color highlighter. I'm gonna use this blue highlighter and I'm just gonna go over the top of my styrofoam. You don't wanna dig it really deeply in there because um, you don't wanna put any dents in your styrofoam. For the sake of time, I'm probably not gonna cover the whole thing. Well, maybe I will. But you just wanna get a good little coating of the highlight ink, whatever color you want, onto the styrofoam. And then you're gonna take a wet paper towel and you're gonna just sort of dampen the paper, just the top of it, just a little tiny bit, just a little bit. You don't wanna soak it soaking wet, just a couple of rubs. And then you're gonna take your paper and you're gonna lay it on top of your styrofoam like this and rub it, okay? So you've gotta rub it real good and make sure it doesn't move. Use your fingers and then when you peel it off, you've got a print and you can do that as many times as you want. This one here, 
I made a little heart. I just drew a little heart on there and then I went over it with my ballpoint pen and made sure it was nice and deep. And again, I'm gonna take a highlighter. This time I'll use pink and I'll just go over the top with my highlighter. I'm gonna get my paper. I'm gonna just dampen it just ever so slightly with my paper towel. You just barely, barely dampen it. I'm gonna set it down and I'm gonna set my paper on top and rub it. You wanna make sure it doesn't move while you're rubbing it. And then when you peel it off, you've got a print of a little heart. Do you see that? And then you can wash these and use them over and over and over and over. And so that's what I did when I made my little mermaid. And I can use it as many times as I want. Then you can get a piece of cardstock and you do the same thing. You cut this, I mean you fold this in four pieces, but this time, I'm only gonna just cut it in half right here so that I can make these little cards like this. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and just trim some of this white off the edge here so that I don't have such a big border and it'll fit on my card. And then I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of my print here put a little glue on the back of my print and I'm gonna glue it to my cardstock and then I've got a little card that I can write a note in and see I put my heart inside and I can put dear mom I love you so much love Miss Barrow and that's how you do print making you can make as many prints as you want you just got to go to the sink and wash these off when you're not using them put them in a little ziploc bag store them somewhere and whenever you want to make a turtle or a mermaid or a heart or whatever it is that you uh, indented into the styrofoam plate, then you will be able to do printmaking. So I hope you guys have fun with this and um, can find the supplies to do it. You need a styrofoam plate, a ballpoint pen, a piece of paper, a piece of cardstock, a highlighter, scissors, and a wet paper towel. And that's it. And you can make as many copies as you have paper. All right. Have a great day. See you in class soon.